because there's all like those effects kind of, and then you have the backing vocals too, which I want in that case you could have. You know what I mean? I'm gonna you know, DIY it. You know? so hard. Yeah. I started playing music at a young age and the first instrument was guitar. I was 10 years old and I got a nylon string and I got that because I really liked um, Justin Bieber and he played a lot of instruments at a young age and so I just started playing guitar and singing. I was really bad at singing but I would play guitar and then drums came about two years later and so I just was inspired to do it and I was obsessed with it so I just never stopped really. And then I started writing songs after my first semester in college. Not Fair was one of the first songs I ever wrote. I was 17 and I revisited it last year to re-record it because I really like it. Um, it's very much so inspired by snail mail musically. Uh, it's right around where I got to like know her music, and so it makes sense. But um, that one is about catching feelings for somebody before they catch feelings for you, or if they ever do. It's kind of it, the feeling is it makes me feel like it's just not fair, and the whole song is kind of revolved around that. And the line "gold on my shirt," I felt at first is like for like first place, but. In this case, it's not necessarily a good first place. But yeah. So, I'm French and I have grew up eating a lot of crepes at home. And um, after my f first year of college, I decided I'd open a crepe stand in town. And so I set that up in a coffee shop. And the same week I opened, a couple days later, um, my favorite artist, Clara, was playing in Denver. And so, I asked if they wanted some crepes and they said yes, so I, then I went to Denver, met some of my idols, you know, like heroes, idols, and it was the best experience ever for me, like of my life, and it made me like really want to, you know, start putting my music out, and so at that point I didn't know what I would call myself, and one of my idols was actually the one that called me, you're the, like, oh, you're the crepe girl, because she recognized me, and so. She called me that, and then people started calling me that in town because of my crepes. And I thought it was kind of silly. I didn't think I'd use it. And then I just like, I decided it was the best option. I Try is the second song I released off my EP. Um, it's about missing the person you love and trying to get them out of your mind. And it's basically just reminiscent on what you had with them. In this situation, it was just somebody that moved to like a really far away place. So if anybody's in like a long distance relationship or anything like that, I think they can relate to it. Yeah. I record my music all in this house by myself for the most part. It was really cool to bring something very close to me, my home, with my music, with my band, with like this great group of artists in town. It's just really cool that it's so local and so um, personalized to, to this place. I was seeing some bands play in town and some of my friends were playing in bands and they kind of I never ever thought I would build a band, like now. I thought it would be years from now. And they were like pushing me to do it. They're like, oh, we'll play for you. Like, and I didn't think like they were, you know, they really meant that. Like, wait, really? You'd actually play for me? And so that's Gavin and Cord. Um, I met them through their other band and they, they offered to play for me. And then Cole came along a little later for the drums. And so basically they're all like my best friends and it's a great balance of like personalities and 
just like inspirations of music and yeah, I'm just really lucky that they want to play with me. I hope by the time I'm 31, or Crep Girl is 10, um, I hope that I would have, I will have traveled the world more than once. I, I just hope I will have a really wide fan base and able to play my music in a lot of places around the world. And I hope to have opened some kind of coffee slash record shop where I, I revolve all the things in my life into one place and I hope to have inspired other musicians.